here to see tonight. Judas Hi, this is Rob from Judas Priest. A little, what? In the early days of Priest, there was no real specific look, image for heavy metal. I think it was Rob really who first started to wear the leather. I wear all this because this is me anyway, but this is the second skin. And we wrote a few tracks for it, all bent for leather and it suddenly all fell into place. I have been known to go into one or two s and shops. I've always felt that the Harley Davidson is everything about metal, you know, because it's big, it's loud, it smells, and it pisses off some people. In every conversation about heavy metal, it has to have Judas Priest in it. They solidified the two guitar attack before anyone. The two guitar sound, you know, it was almost like a stereo effect. There's the riffs, there's the twin axe attack, Rob Halford's voice, you know, the greatest heavy metal singer of all time. And he can still hit them fucking notes, which is mind blowing to me. And he's one of my favorite fucking singers. I have no idea how many octaves Rob has. Was he have like fucking 500? <laughs> He holds the mic to hear. <laughs> and the whole PA just goes. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, what is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Judas Priest. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna be cool. Yeah. It's so frustrating. You know, when they came out with British Steel, it just made sense, you know, and there's a razor blade on the cover because Sabbath is Sabbath, but Priest streamlined it and made it cutting edge, so to speak. You know, this is shit as a kid that like, I had never heard before and it would just blow my mind. From British Steel onwards, the band just exploded internationally. Not only were Priest pioneers, but they also sold 50 million records and had huge radio hits across decades. Somebody said the other night, actually, Sabbath were heavy, but Priest are metal. I can't like that. A lot of the stuff that became the archetypical parts of heavy metal were invented by Judas Priest. The leather, the motorcycle, the attitude, and we're not gonna apologize for it. We're gonna embrace it with both leather-clad arms and on a Harley ride that metal into the sunset together. By definition, rock and roll should still be pissing people off. And so you punch back, you fight back, you claw back, you scream back with heavy metal.